Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we have a very exciting video that I've been planning and working on and thinking so heavily about for the past two weeks. What originally got us into crypto is pulling us back and uh, really good content for you. Really, really excited. Before we get going, the beer of the day is a Sweet Baby Jesus Chocolate Peanut Butter Porter. 6.2% alcohol by volume. It's from Dewclaw Brewing Company. I'm not normally a porter kind of guy. One of my buddies up in New Hampshire is obsessed with porter, so he gets me to try them every now and then. But I am a huge lover of peanut butter. So very delicious, very smooth, very creamy. And I'm glad it's got a good uh, ABV. And I'm glad to share this with you guys. So with that said, let's get back into hobby mining. Nerdy dude stuff. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another video about cryptocurrency. It's not about Algorand today, so if you're a lover of Algorand like myself, I apologize. This isn't about Algorand. This will lead to accumulating more Algorand in the future, but still, there is a QR code above my head and a wallet in the description for this video. If you do like the content and you're ever so inclined and you are an Algorand holder, please consider sending a tip. So, with all that said, also like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, all that good stuff, especially to stay up to date with this new hobby mining that we are jumping into. So, with that said, we have picked ourselves up a gold shell a HS1 Plus miner. This is going to be into a territory of hobby mining. This isn't necessarily a mining uh, scenario or strategy to get loaded overnight or to build like a big mining farm this is something that i wanted to start doing once again because that's originally what got me into crypto if you go through the channel or right above my head one of my original videos in cryptocurrency was this really crappy mining rig out of a cardboard box with fans that i built out of three gpus and it was generating about two to three dollars a day once we built our gaming computer, we never got back into it. So I wanted to jump back into mining. I looked at this ASIC miner called the Gold Shell HS1 Plus. It's here on the screen. Uh, very small, very efficient. Why don't we take a moment and see what it looks like fresh out of the box? All right. So we just got our HS1 Plus by Gold Shell miner in. Very excited. Been waiting for this. I've already cut up the box, but I'm going to be opening this for the first time and showing you what comes with the purchase. So let's get to it. All right, so first off, we've got a power cord. Um, now, the only, okay, so I see a problem with the power cord. I actually have to go get an adapter for it so I can fit it to one of my 110 watt sockets, but I believe this would fit one of my 240s out in the garage, but we're not gonna be mining our cryptocurrency in the garage. But we have a decent size power cord because we bought the HS1 Plus with the included uh, PSU. I think if it's it was $299, and then if you got it without the PSU, it would be uh, $259, so you'd save yourself 40 bucks. But it's a six pin connector. Uh, you can see the six pins there. If you have a PSU, a power supply unit that's got the six pin connector already, um, then great, you could save yourself 40, yeah, 40 bucks. Otherwise, I didn't have one, so I grabbed that. That came with it. And then last but not least, Here it is, we'll leave that here. Comes in this nice little gold shell box. Let's go ahead and uh, hold it up there. Not too bad. Dimensions for it are, I don't even know why I'm showing that on camera. You can't even see it. The box is about four and a half inches by seven and a half by about three and a half. So not too bad on the dimensions, but let's see what we've got inside. Ooh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. 
All right, that's the box. So first off, we've got this little black book, and this is our USB cord. It's a standard USB 2.0, and both ends, ta-da. So if you got a couple of those laying around, that's what it's gonna be connecting with. And then you have the instructions on where it shows you, can't even see that, can you? It shows you where you plug in your power, where you plug in your USB, but also, just in case, it's got it printed right here on that as well. The lights are just gonna reflect off of it. Let's go ahead and pull it up here. Ooh. There you go, now it's in shot. So you got an instruction packet that shows that and you also have the instructions right on the miner. This is the miner up close and personal. So you've got your six pin connector PSU in and then you've got your USB in as well. Back here you got a nice little fan. This thing is super light, I, mean, I shouldn't be doing that. This thing is super, super duper light. So not bad for a desktop size, let's see its measurements. So we are looking at six inches by three and a half by three. So not too bad. Let's get this bad boy plugged in and going. So some numbers on the Gold Shell HS1 Plus. It is, as you've seen, a nice small desktop miner. I do have mine sitting over here to my right, and it's currently mining. We'll show all those numbers here on screen, and you don't even hear it. Actually, let's take a look at it right now, and you're going to see just how small this thing is, and you're going to see or hear just how loud it is. So take a listen. You could barely hear the thing. I, I mean, I'm sitting here right now at my desk, and this is where I have my computer, my PlayStation 5, my gaming, and normally on a nice night, I run a little tiny office fan over by my window, and that thing is loud as heck compared to this little HS1 Plus Miner. So with that said, let's start looking at some of its facts here on screen, and I'm actually going to pull up some of the coin that I'm mining, which is currently Handshake, and it's the only coin that they can mine is Handshake, so I will want to say that I looked into the Handshake project. We'll talk about that momentarily. We're going to look at the actual mining calculator, take a look at what my power cost is, and kind of go from there. So without further ado, the Gold Shell HS1 Plus Miner. Silent, small, and efficient. It's doing about 105 giga hashes. Mine actually does more, and you'll see that here in just a second. It costs about 115 watts in power. That's less than a gaming PC. That's less than my PlayStation 5. Granted, I'm running it 24-7, but down here in Florida for residential mining and residential power, it's not that expensive. And on top of that, I'm having solar panels installed in my house, so we are going to be switching into higher profitability on this miner. Not really like the highest in the world, but higher and a quicker return on my investment of purchasing this miner as soon as I have those solar panels as well. Like you saw in the unboxing, it's you know a little small unit, silver casing, fan. There is another model called the HS1. The difference here is the HS1 originally was 50 giga hashes. Ours, the HS1 Plus, is 105 giga hashes. Wall power is 57. This one's 115. But what's really nifty is that the wall power it's drawing from is out of the you know a regular residential home outlet. And I don't have to go out and get one of my big 240 watts outside. It runs off of one of my 120 watt residential outlets. No problem. Got it separated over on the side. Dimensions, you saw that in the unboxing video. Noise, 34 decibels. That's barely anything. Power adapter is a 12 volt 15 to 15A. And you've got the six PCIe six pin connector. I ended up actually finding, because in the unboxing, it showed that it was like a Chinese or an Australian or a UK or whatever uh, power wall there was. It's a regular PC power cable. Uh, you can buy them on Amazon for six bucks. I actually had a few laying around because we all have a drawer worth of filled with useless cables. So I was like, no, let me go to the drawer. And I found it there. So um, and right after I looked at Amazon, let's go down a little bit more here. You already saw the unboxing of the model. That's what it looks like. You saw the power supply unit, low power, best price, high performance, ASIC miner. Da, 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 portable design, yada, yada, yada. And you can purchase these on Gold Shell. Let's see if there's any available. And if this takes off and everything goes, I want to purchase more of these little ASIC miners to keep going to bring content to you guys. So if you like the idea or if you're running one yourself, leave a comment down below and we can actually get to talking about it. So let's pull it up here.
My buddy Mind of Tron, after I purchased this, went through, and he said that they were actually sold out at the time, and I must have purchased the last one. I purchased mine on, I believe, February 25th, and it came in on March the 3rd, and they came out from China. So here's a couple of their other miners. It doesn't look like they're available right now, but I was actually looking at one of these HS5s so I can farm some Sia coin, and they were looking at about 15 a day. Ooh, there we go. I can actually buy this. But this is for Doge and Litecoin, not necessarily coins I would want to mine. Shipment begins on July 2021. Wow, that's crazy. And then here is ours right here, the Gold Shell HS1 Plus. It is currently sold out, so it looks like I did get the last one. They have a couple of other models here, and this is the original. The or that or this. Okay, so you see two models: the Gold HS1 Plus 299 that comes with the PSU, and then the Gold HS1 Plus without the PSU is for 259. So those are some of the models they have. I might consider this, but again, it's Doge and Litecoin. I'd rather look into what these ace miners could do, like Handshake and Sia Coin. I've seen another YouTuber. This one looks incredibly profitable. It was ranging anywhere between $15 to $22 a day, which wasn't too bad. But anywho, let's look at the mining. Now, this miner, I do have it up here. This miner is only able to mine Handshake. That's the algorithm that it's on. It's the only thing that it's able to do right now. What exactly is Handshake? I looked briefly into Handshake. It's a token that's built with a, another uh, on blockchain to incorporate owning actual web addresses and websites and domain names. Whereas if you go to like godaddy.com or a couple of other websites and a, with a website that you want to create, you're technically renting that domain name from them. Whereas if you go through with Handshake and look into their protocol, that's an actual blockchain delisted owned um, domain and subdomain. So we can do another video on that later if Handshake is something of interest. But as of right now, Handshake is trading at 28 cents. It's 24 hour volume is 665,000, so it's not too crazy. It's total max supply is at 2 billion, and there's a total supply currently that's circulating at about 359 million. So there's plenty more of this bad boy to mine, and at 28 cents a pop in mining, it's not too bad. Handshake is currently only available on a, a couple of markets. I think it's on uh, Bitlex, and it's on, or is it, no, it's on Bittrex, right? Right, yeah, it's on Bittrex, CoinX, and I am currently using Hotbit. Uh, Hotbit, HNS, BTC, whatever. So I've got my Hotbit account set up, and that's where I'm actually mining my currency too. So whenever I, in the pool that I have everything set up on, as soon as it qualifies for the minimum payout, it's sending it over to Hotbit. From there, I'll probably accumulate for a little bit until I get into a range that I feel comfortable with, and then I'm going to convert that into Bitcoin, send that over to Binance or KuCoin or Coinbase, and then I will scoop up myself some more Algorand. And we are looking at HNS. So yeah, currently right now, I don't have any HNS because it hasn't sent the transactions over. I've been mining for about 24 hours, and we're going to take a look at those numbers now. But this is Hotbit. This is one of the only exchanges that currently have HNS on there. Uh, and we'll talk more about Hot. We'll talk more about Handshake and HNS more in the future if we continue down this hobby mining path. Let's go ahead and pull up the pool. We are There's three pools that are listed. And if you do purchase one of these miners, when you actually go and purchase one, we'll pull it up here, they have all the tutorials and they have all the guides that you could possibly want. You just scroll through. You go into the HS1 Plus tutorial link right here, and then you kind of go from there. And we could do full tutorial videos here shortly, and I do plan on doing one of those videos to show you guys exactly how to set these up and how to get them running. But if you're just trying to crash through this and I don't do the video fast enough, just rest assured there are tutorials and what exactly you need to do to get these going. Now, realistically, the actual hardware version of this is you plug your PSU in, you plug it into the wall, and you plug the included USB cable into your PC or your laptop. I've got mine sitting across the room, so I have a USB cable extension. But then after that, you have to make sure that you got some drivers on your computer, and then you have a couple of different mining softwares that you can run. I am using the Gold Shell miner that they have here, but they also have the Handy miner. And it's really a preference that you want. I'm using Gold Shell. It's a little bit easier to set up versus the Handy Miner. I was going and getting some errors when I went with that. But like you see here, power adapter, unit, power supply into the unit, plug that into your PC or notebook, go from there, blah, blah, blah. We'll do a full tutorial on this later. Let's actually look at the mining. So we are currently mining on dxpool.com. This is our current setup here. Let's actually give this a good refresh. And I'm going to pull the miner up as well. I actually already had the miner pulled up. It's just on a second screen. But we're going to take a look at the numbers here on DX Pool before I pull the miner up over here on the side. Looks like it's slowing down just a smidge. 
So after about 24 hours, you currently see that we profited ourselves 3.677 HNS. And as of right now, for because it, it's really cool, the pool keeping track of what yesterday's profits were. And I believe it's at about 6 p.m. Eastern is when the day rolls over. So And then that's also when you get your payout. Current profits are 2.924 HNS. Let's pull up a calculator here right now. We are at 3.677 plus 2.924. Four. So we are currently at 6.601 HNS, and current price of HNS was a total of 28.85. So we'll multiply that by 0.2885. So we're just sitting under two dollars of HNS. Not too bad, and we're just coming up on the 48-hour mark. And we're going to talk about those numbers here in just a second as well. So that's my profits here, and then let's go ahead and see if we have anything hanging out in our wallet because they do the payout every 24 hours. So, yep, here's our wallet right here. We have a balance of 3.85 HNS sitting there. We can cash it out or we can let it auto withdraw. This will automatically withdraw to my Hotbit Exchange wallet at 10 HNS. And I believe there's a 3% fee for doing that as well. So that's how they get theirs off of the top. Now, let me pull the miner over. Let's go back to my tokens. I like to leave this screen on the profit screen. You can see here how the profits of the token after you know when it first originally came out, how blah 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 blah. But that's for a longer video. Here's my miner. Here's I'm using the gold shell miner. It's very simple. Once you have everything plugged in, and again we'll set up a tutorial on this. The last hour we were mining at 110 giga hashes. We are currently at 109 back to 110 giga hashes. The advertisement for this miner is 105 giga hashes. And when I'm not recording or farting around on my phone, on my computer, I've been looking at uh, giga hashes. You can see here up closer to the 120 range. So 110 giga hashes, 114 giga hashes, 120 giga hashes. And that's on my local hash rate. I think I'm even peaking at 124 giga hashes as well. Very, very solid numbers on the, on the miner when they were posting that it was at being sold at 105 giga hashes. This is a really easy miner and application to use. Once you have your miner plugged in, once you connect to the pool, you can start mining, stop the mining, reboot the mining. If you've got multiple miners, they'll be listed down here. So you've got this miner, which is ours currently running, and it's got the stats there, and we'll have multiple across the way. And then you can go back through miner number. I've got one active, zero inactive, because I only have one. Here's the pool information here. Here's my username, Oprius, and then here's my hash rate. Very, very, very easy, very, very plug and play. You don't have to do any bat files or anything along those lines. It's super plug and play. If you guys want to get into hobby mining yourselves, definitely this is a fun little recommendation. But let's talk about profitability. Profitability. Profitability, okay? So normally when I've been looking at ASIC miners and when I've been looking at other opportunities, their prices are astronomical and they're looking at about a 512 return on investment time frame. Now, whenever you look at those return on investment time frames, you have to take into consideration that that's the current, crypt, the current cost of the crypto that you're mining and that stays at a baseline. So for example, we're mining Handshake right now. Let's go to its overview. The numbers that I'm about to plug into the mining calculator that you guys are gonna see is considering that Handshake stays at the current price of 0.2886 for the rest of its life. Handshake has seen an all-time high of 36 cents and it's kind of been seeing all-time lows. Uh, it's seen all-time lows of, okay, wiggle, thank you. It's seen all-time lows of about seven cents, just shy of eight cents. Uh, 36, 39 cents w rate when it first started, and then it had a nice little pump up to about 36 cents, and it's been bouncing around this 26 to 28 and 29 cent range. So when we talk about the mining calculator, this is under consideration that the cost of this token will never increase or never decrease. So it could go one or both ways. I already plugged in my numbers, so we're right now we're gonna we're not gonna take into we're not gonna take into consideration power cost. We're just gonna do straight up 110 giga hashes because that's been roughly the average that I've been mining at for the past just shy of 48 hours, and we're gonna calculate that at the current exchange rate of um, HNS to BTC at 606 satoshi. Just switched there from 606 to 607. So without any adjustments there, it is currently stating, without any power costs, it's currently stating that I am mining about 0.15275912 per hour of HNS. That's about five cents. And of course, the cost is zero because we haven't set it as zero cost. That's five cents. The profit, five cents an hour. So that translates to a dollar eight a day. Again, without the power cost, a dollar eight a day. And then for the week, that's 757 a week. 
for the month, 3244 a month, and for the year, 39474. Now, this is awesome. I think this is absolutely awesome because this model costs $299. Let's go back. This model cost us $299, no tax, no shipping cost, a flat $299. So if we look at that, what's our daily? So if our daily pro, if our daily return is a dollar eight without power consideration or anything like that, we are then going to be in profit on this miner if the current price of H and S stays at twenty eight cents, doesn't increase, doesn't decrease for two hundred seventy six days. So within the first year, so we're just going to then subtract. So within the first year, we are going to be in a profit of about one hundred seventeen dollars and eighty eight cents. This is why I think this is a fun little investment. This is why I wanted to I wanted to purchase this miner because it's going to allow me to provide content and do YouTube videos, and it's going to be profitable within the first year. Other big miners are usually profitable just at, you know just shy of two years, so I wanted to get this. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this touch into getting back into hobby mining. Um, you know, we've got some good footage of the HS1 Plus. We're going to be doing some more of that. We're going to do an actual breakdown of how to install, how to get this running, how to get the miner going. More content about mining will be coming sprinkled in with our Algorand content. So if you guys are here for Algorand, thank you very much. To the moon, we're going to get there. Don't forget QR code above my head, wallet address in the description for this video. Any and all tips in Algorand are greatly appreciated. There's also Bitcoin, Tron, and Ethereum in there if you guys want to tip that as well. But that Algorand's our coin. But that's about it. So, anywho. Thank you very much for watching today, guys. I highly appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications. All that good stuff. I am O'Price, and we'll see you guys next time.